Hello there, survivors. This is the Red Stranger. And we are playing Project Zomboid. The grand adventure of Tyro Nicolsi. Yes, Greg Tyro Nicolsi. Do you want to load the same world? Of course we want to load the same world. Inhabited with zombies. Yeah, you want to continue as your people? No. Of course we do. Yes. <laughs> do you want to wait for a load screen? No. Too bad. Actually, we're going to edit it out for you guys because we love you. you so much. We love you. Hi, Mom. Uh, hi, Logan's mom. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's good. Uh, so where we last left off, we saw a giant humongous horde. Oh, yes. That was fun. Yeah, and we have escaped to this little area. It is 710. Baseball bat. We don't need it. We got that. Fire axe. Yeah, the frying pan. Oh, but we're naked. Look, we're half naked again. Where'd the clothes go? <laughs> he was mugged. <laughs> he was mugged. <laughs> they took my stuff, man. Well, they only took my clothes. Everything else. Oh, wait. They're off. They're right. Pants. <laughs> and uh, it, the shirt's not orange anymore. What the crap? The shirt's not orange anymore. Change color. You had the time to dye it. You, wait, you, can't, you can't wear the fire axe. <laughs> oh, my chest! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Put the belt on my head. <laughs> my neck! <laughs> Rambo. You what? should be able to like, make nooses hey. and kill yourself. Yeah. Well, they plan to put that in the game. Really? Where you eventually can commi commit suicide. That's disturbing. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's, it's I want my orange shirt back. <laughs> I can face through walls! No, doors. These are doors. That's a completely useless superpower. It's from the power of the bald spot. <clears throat> yeah. Power of the bald spot. It's a completely useless superpower. I can phase through objects only when they're open. <laughs> nope. Uh-oh! Where'd he come from? <laughs> He's like, this is my house. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> what are you doing here? This is my house, son. <laughs> around this corner. The scary thing is, is we play this and we retroscript, we retroscript uh, everything, so the story of Tyrone McGoldstein can end any second. Yeah. He's not safe. That's why this, I'm opening curtains before I walk into the room. This game is how you die. Yes, this is how you die. Now eventually, my friends, uh, <laughs> <laughs> eventually we'll die. <laughs> Probably when you can't even see your own character. Yes, that's problematic. Hello? Yeah, I love how he doesn't believe in doors. I know. He tries to avoid doors when Nobody believes in locking their windows. I found more whiskey. Man, this guy had a lot of stuff. He was a fat. This fatty wants this fatty's food. The guy is hungry. He is? Yeah. Okay. Should be a whole bottle. <laughs> like I did last time. Ate some pie. I not walking there too fast. Hello, is anyone in here? Careful. Keep an eye on that clock for me. The last thing we need is to end up like one of these guys. Where do their clothes go? What? Oh my gosh! Someone's out stealing <laughs> clothes. <laughs> uh, zombie corpses. <laughs> oh my gosh! He's gonna knit himself the biggest hammock ever. <laughs> Who's doing this? I'm guessing you think it's the guy? You think it's the like the? We've heard the weird walking in the background. There's some weirdo uh, just walking around, stealing people's clothes. Yes. There's another zombie. It's just shopping. We're just shopping. <laughs> Nothing bad is happening. Not doing. Nothing sinful is going on. <laughs> Where'd the door go? <laughs> I bet these guys didn't survive the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> we don't believe in doors. Uh, I hate when that happens where I can't see. They, they're really going to town now. Oh, wow. Well. No. Luckily, they were on the side you were on. Yeah, there's one down the alleyway. Close the zombies. That's weird. That is weird. Is it glitched or something? Yeah, it just glitched a second. 
Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. It's one o'clock. Remember, we all have food up these stairs. Oh, yeah, this is your original safe house. Yeah, this is my original safe house. I'm going to go here. I was wondering why this so food. I'm going to go up to here. I'm going to get all... I'm going to stash the stuff I have now. See how I left that pin there? <laughs> Whatever that was? I gotta be careful with these steps. Remember last time? Yes, you fell and broke your leg. <sighs> yes, and magically. Risk it this time. I'm walking very carefully. Remember, I did die on these steps once. Can uh, zombies like infiltrate your base? Can you? Like... They can, and they can actually invade your base. And that's the problem with this place because if they do, there's only one way down the stairs. Yeah. There's another way out, but I don't want to take that route. Jumping to your death. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I prefer. I prefer that getting eaten by zombies. Where'd the wall go? You don't need it. And no, none of these places have roofs. I wonder if there's like a speedy hotkey where I can just, you know, put stuff in there. I'm gonna cook this chicken. <clears throat> like I said, this is a wonderful game where you cook food, go to the grocery store, and try to ignore that all the horrible things that have happened. Just go on as if nothing ever happened. Yes. You gotta pretend like everything's just normal. Everything's fine. You guys like start. Uh, okay, there you go. Yeah, he's fed now. He feels my three pies later. Yeah, I got a fatty. What else? He has a hearty appetite. So that's true. He has that trait where he's a hearty appetite, so he can't. <clears throat> I stop at two pies. I stop at two. <laughs> yeah, you have self control. Oh yeah. <laughs> and a gallon of milk. Uh oh. Oh no. Thank God. Are still going because we have a lot of these to. I haven't really seen any like thirst meter. Is there like a thirst? There's a thirst meter. I don't think it, it's you get dehydrated in this one, but I don't think there's a lot of negative effects. They're gonna put a buttload of negative effects on the next one. I think they should. Uh, I'm really excited for uh, the survivors out there. I'm, I'm gonna tell them that they are doing a new version of the game. They're adding a lot more with the NPCs, with uh, they're adding fire back in the game. Good. Filling all this stuff with water. I remember I played it once, and uh, my last bit of survival, I about had uh, 500 zombies come in, you know. So I better not last time. <laughs> and myself, and my wife. <laughs> cake. Cake. <laughs> did you call her cake? <laughs> you didn't eat her, did you? It was like the last thing you did. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> she smelled good. Not really like cake, more like bacon, but still. You smell like cinnamon and lilac. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm gonna... It's getting late. Yeah. Yeah, and you guys tired. Hello? I still check these places. I think you need to like start like, you know, barricading. Who puts a flashlight in their drawer? And that's not like a flashlight you keep around the house just to get some <laughs> oh, it's out. one of those big giant it's searchlights. One... Yeah. I actually one of the ideas I suggested on suggestion forums is that you could use all those stuff, all that stuff is defensive weapons, where you could actually, um, you know, if they grab onto you, you could press a certain button and you put that in their mouth. Like, if you have an apple in your, in, like, your person right here, yeah. you could, like, in your secondary, your second hand, where you could just shove it in their mouth. Or have a brick, shove it in their mouth. Have a taser, you can, if an NPC's on it, you can shock the NPC. My guy is extremely panicked still. <laughs> He's still a scaredy cat. I think it's bedtime. I think this is the seventh day in, <clears throat> and we're doing good. It's three o'clock. This guy's sleep ticker thing is broken. He's used to getting up for those late night TV shows. Yeah, the ones uh, on late night HBO. Yeah, you don't.